Hello everyone. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. I'm um, on the Black Shadow and we're here at the very, very end of the Rainbow Resort. We've gone through seven worlds of, well, in my honest opinion, a hell of a lot of great music and some great environments and backgrounds. Um, Oh yeah, of course, I never really showed you off the warps, did I? Um, yeah, that's what it all looks like when you add them up and you go wherever you want. I didn't actually mean to do that. And you'll always have the six there to take you wherever you, know you need to. Anyways. But yes, folks, so we've gone through a hell of a lot of stuff, folks, to get here. Yeah, no, um, but sadly it is that time of the, of the LP, folks. It's time to, well, finish up, really. No, we've got all we got all the Star Rod pieces, but one, and DDD himself holds that, so we have to take him down. It's boss time. Right now, just so you know, folks, you can sort of use your normal weapons against all these uh, like enemies and that sort of thing, but uh, not really necessary. And I'm not going to do these using these. Um, ouch, much. Now, DDD himself is quite a tough nut here. He takes a lot of damage. Um, he has a variety of attacks that will cause these stars to appear. That's how you're going to take him out, folks. Um, he has a lot of attacks, actually. Um, I know I'm talking. He's got like this one. He just runs at you. He can do some, like a little slide tackle. If he runs off to you, wow. No, that's not so good. Um, he can do that. He can swallow you. He's a bit like Kirby in that respect. You know, he is sort of, you know, very similar in that respect. Um, he can do a lot of things that Kirby can, especially like the mallet. That's your main way. You're going to be able to do damage to him, folks. Um, he can sort of inflate himself like this, and you just got to run and dodge. It's not so bad. But it's a bit of a battle of just attrition, really, and just, you know, keeping your wits about you um, is the best way to go about this. I want to show off um, his jumping attack. I know you saw it probably at the, uh, the start when he does, like, a jump. But I want to actually show that off. Um, I want him to do it, actually, because um, what you'll find, actually, is when he jumps, he will actually, like, when he, and he lands, he'll create, like, two stars. Now, obviously, you know, you can grab one of the stars on either side, depending on which one you get um, here. However, if you get... Ah, oh, I couldn't show it off there. If you get really close to Dee, like, virtually next to him, you can actually grab... Ah, oh, you can actually inhale both stars. Oh, that's not gone well. Oh, dear. That's not gone well at all, has it? Oh, dear. Um, and you can actually inhale both stars, so you get, like, the um, really powerful star attack. And that will nail DDD. Does loads of... Ow, damage. Ow. That's not going to plan. Oh, dear. Oh, that's a shame. Right, we'll have to take him on again then, won't we? Alright, so... Uh, it's take two. Like I said, no, DDD is not an easy... Not an easy boss by any standards. I think he is. You no, know, he's pretty. He's pretty tough actually for you know, for an end, end of game boss. You know, but it's just a matter of. It's just a matter of recognizing his attacks. You know, I mean, if he runs at you like that and he's not holding anything, probably the best thing to do is just go up in the air because it's even going to be a slide tackle. He's going to try and like, you know, sort of inhale you. Um, either way, you know, go up in the air because he can't get you. But it's just a matter of just recognising what he's going to do and reacting out, um, you know, reacting in kind. Uh, no. Yep, there we go. And a bit of practice never hurts it either. You know, you go, you might go through this a couple of times, but you know, things will get a lot easier to go through. But it does make change, you know, because a lot of the bosses, you know, they die relatively quickly, so it's kind of nice with DD, you know, it's, it takes a little while, you know, that star, ow, doesn't do a lot of damage, it does a bit. Ah, oh, I, I thought he was going to use the mallet again. Damn. Come on. Just give up already. You know, I am the... F no, I'm here to save dr um, no, the dreamland. You're not going to stop me. Give me that bloody piece of star rod. Oh, come on. Give me something where I can actually respond, you stubborn thing. Oh, that's not going well. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we're at uh, we're at instant death, folks. Wonderful. It's like sudden death. This now I get hit. Obviously, I go down, but I hit him. That's basically it. Got him. Victory is ours. <laughs> Fall down. 
Yay, we have the Star Rod! And I'm not controlling this, by the way. <laughs> Give up, DDD! We, we won already, come on! We won, you lost. <laughs> you show him, Kirby. Yay! Happy dreams for all! Uh... Game? What the hell is that? What the hell? Uh... DDD? Yeah, folks. This isn't quite over just yet, folks. We got plenty of game to go, folks. Now, this is a boss fight. Now, this is hard. Um, because you have to pay real close attention to everything that is going on. And there's a lot happening. you got to pay attention to where he, this thing is. I don't, well, we don't know what the hell it is. And what's going on. You've also got a time limit, folks. You might be noticing um, in the map, we're sort of slowly going down. There is a ground to this, and if you take too long, eventually the gr no, that will start coming up, and then you'll just basically be crushed on screen. So you've got a time limit, folks, um, which makes this quite tricky, actually. But there's a lot to pay attention to. If this takes you several attempts, don't be surprised, because this is quite hard. And also, when you get the Star Rod, you actually get a little, um, little uh, box there for it. Yeah, make the final efforts. Shoot the star to defeat the final enemy. Whatever the hell this enemy is. What is it, like a giant ball of energy? What the hell is that? No. Oh, uh, no, go down. Oh, Christ, we got him. And grab the star quickly before the ground starts appearing. Well advised, folks. Well advised. So we're chasing whatever the hell that was down. So we're at the moon? Cool. What the hell is that? Nah, folks. I welcome you to the true boss of this game, folks. Say hello to Nightmare. Now, this guy is pretty tough, and you'll notice your health does not get restored between, um between uh, fighting this and the previous boss, so if you die, don't don't be don't feel too bad about it. Now, Nightmare can only be a t now you might notice he's got like this sort of cape on him almost. That actually reflects all your stuff, um, the star rod attacks here. The only way you can hurt him is that energy sort of that he has for a body. Oh dive down, he can't get me. Now again he has a variety of attacks. Ow well, that makes this a fair fight, folks, now. Now, now it is a real fair fight. You know, we got full health both sides. Now, again, you've got to pay attention to what's going on here, folks. Um, ooh, that was close. And you can only hit him when he's got, you know, that energy thing there. So, that's a good time to hit him. Uh, that one is as well. Um, but generally, you've got to do a lot of aiding and recognising his attacks. Like, this one here, when he does that, if you can recognise that's what's going to happen, you can run down to the other side. If he's low down, you can nail him. And he tends to follow up with that sort of sweeping attack anyways. That was, that was a good dodge. But again, he's not easy. He is a pretty tough hombre himself. To be quite honest, folks. Ooh, that was close again. I mean, it helps that I've practised a lot against this guy, folks. Um, you know, I haven't fought him for any an occasion. Um, which does help, but he's still hard. See, like, now he, I can, yeah, I can tell it was coming, and you can grab him from that side before he starts firing. You can grab him from the other side as well, um, while he is firing, but it's quite hard, actually, to manage that. But it's just little tricks like that. Always try and get down his, sort of, the back side of him is always the best way to go. Oh, he don't, oh, he reflected it. God damn. And I've just noticed I've not been hit yet. Wow! That is the first time I've ever beaten that guy without being hit. Wow! Well, we took out Nightmare then. Whoa! That's a big explosion. And there's a star coming from it.
Now just imagine this voice and like some narrators, like, I don't know, maybe Ringo Starr, or maybe Morgan Freeman. <laughs> But yeah, DDD actually wasn't a bad guy, as this, um, as this says here. Uh, bad dreams had invaded Dreamland, uh, a nightmare came to the Dream Spring. So DDD, um, yeah, and it was, like, you know, causing pain to the people. Oh, no! But yeah, DDD actually went um, ahead, and um, he foiled the nightmare by hiding the Star Wars from him and breaking him into loads of little bits. So DDD wasn't actually a bad guy, but DDD was actually helping Kirby, as it says there. You know, he was a good guy, just misunderstood. And now, everyone's dreams will return. Yay! Tonight, Dreamland, sleep well. I, I love the music, folks. I really do. I really do. Aww. Throw the Star Wars there, and that's gone back to the Fountain of Dreams, and now there's no nightmare to make everything go really bad and everything. Stars form as well. I love that from Kirby, like waving bye bye there. That is so awesome and oh, it gets it gets to my heart, folks. <laughs> and of course, we got the um, credits here. Now the credits are interesting because um, they actually demonstrate taking on all these bosses with varying abilities. Like here, you've got the throw ability, which you don't even have at that point. I don't start seeing that till later on. Um, like you got here, the paint roller. Ugh using the stone against them, which isn't the worst of ideas, but, uh, you know, just varying ideas, you know, you can take on these bosses a lot of different ways. I know I did them all basically on normal, but in case, you know, because you might be on that case, you can use your varying abilities to varying situations and try, you know, you know, you might find some things more useful, but, you know, like, um, this one's an interesting one here. Uh, Kirby's actually got the tornado ability here to take on Cracker, which is, well, see, another way of doing it than using the high jump, I think. You know, but everyone's to their own. Uh, we got uh, the heavy mole there, um, using a, a, a using an umbrella against a heavy mole. That just doesn't sound right. <laughs> oh yes, of course, the Meta Knight duel. I do enjoy that, folks. I really do enjoy that. Oh yeah, I never thought you could hit Mize in Meta like that. <laughs> And then DDD himself. Like, see, he's got against high jump. Only problem I have using like, abilities against him is that you tend to find when you attack him, half the time you end up interrupting his attack pattern, which kind of annoys me. And actually, I don't think that really helps much, to be honest. I think that makes things a lot harder than they need to be. Oh, man. Now, I tell you, I always, always, always remember this screen, folks. Uh, I thought this was a lovely, lovely, lovely touch. This, um, this, um, this screen here. You know, game's over. You know, you got the star on the fountain. The fountains going off and everything like that. And you know, I just love how there's but the end and the bye bye, folks. And oh dear, and the music as well. I, I'll let you in on another little story, folks. Um, I, I know, um, you know, a couple of times I've took on through LPs and I've talked about sort of moments sort of I remember out of my no out of the amount I've played uh, video games and this was always one of them. Um I know there's I've I've have mentioned somewhere I can't remember where. Um but I mean I might have mentioned at some point uh, you know about there was a few moments when I played games which have made me kind of you know half emotional and I will I will admit folks that this screen was one I remember when I was about eight or nine or whatever the hell I was when I first actually beat this game because I found that boss really challenging. I find it a lot easier now, obviously. Um, and I remember I got to this screen, you know, and with the music and all and saying bye bye. I remember I actually got kind of sad. Um, I didn't outright cry. I, d I didn't outright cry, folks. But I will admit I did get a little bit sort of. You know, teary-eyed and uh, the sort of the, the lump in your throat and that sort of thing. Oh, uh, it's it's kind of half, almost embarrassing actually, sort of saying about that. But I'm gonna be honest, you know, it, I remember it, it did make me kind of, you no, know, kind of teary-eyed, folks. It didn't make me outright sort of be sort of crying or anything like that. Um, 
only one game has ever, ever done that to me. Um, maybe one of these days I'll LP it. It'd be an honour to LP that game, folks. But um, that won't be for a little while. No, now is not proper time. <laughs> but yeah, folks. Um, so there you go. Um, I'm afraid... No, that that is the... Uh, that's the end, folks. Um, really, it's, it's a nice screen to end on, um, to be honest. Um, and I've had a lot of fun, definitely. I've really enjoyed doing this LP. Except we're not quite over yet. No, there is something else that you can get here. Uh, we can now um, get access to the extra game mode. Um, we can go on uh, new and more challenge. Are you kidding me? They typoed guest a, a more a, go on to a new and more challenging guest. Please tell me that's just a weird way of writing a cue for quest, and that's not just a horrible typo. Please tell me that was it. No, that's the same as the other G's. Wow. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Wow. I can't believe they typo that. That's amazing. But anyways, folks, so yeah, so we now have access to the, the extra game here. Now, if we now go back to here, yeah, yeah a hero of lore, yeah. I uh, mean, you've got the, you know, you've your save section. You can go into that and you can, um, you know, play it uh, as per normal. However, you now have, um... A variety of options you can do here. You can carry on, you can press continue to basically, um, I can't remember what this actually does. Um, in all honesty, I forgot. Uh, I'm trying to get the save state right here, because I don't know what I'm, I don't even know what I'm on. So you can press continue, um, and that will take you, um, back to right before here, folks. Um, you'll notice your lives have been reset to the, um, original. Yeah, that kind of sucks, folks. So if you ever quit this game, and sort of reload it. Um, it resets all your lives, as well as your score. Um, so be wary of that, folks. Um, but you can do that. Um, you can also go ahead and you can play the uh, the um, all your um, your bonus games again. So like we can we can replay uh, Quick Draw here, which I used to do a bit. I think that's probably why I got pretty good at Quick Draw. I, I used to replay this every now and again. I don't know if you hear, hear that, folks. That's called the alarm is going off in the house because someone's obviously set fire to a saucepan. So if you can hear that beeping, I apologise. Um, but yeah, so you can. Like, I used to play this every now and again, um, and I got pretty, pretty good at it. That's probably why I got down to about eleven and twelve usually, and pretty usually challenging for uh, for the um, you know the, uh, no, the level five. Doesn't mean I very often got it, but I used to challenge for it. Um, and you can also do this, you can do the, uh, this one here, the versus boss, um, and I'll show that off in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sh not show off right now, folks, because you've got that, and you've also got something else, folks, you've also got the extra game. Now, I'm actually going to call that that, folks, um, and I'm actually going to, um, in the next video, I'm going to show you off some of this extra stuff, and I'll show you off the, um, the extra game, because this is something very interesting. Um, so, yeah, folks, so, well, um, I will actually see you in the next video, so, I'll see ya.